Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to the 26th of June. Today is hump day. And for a rainy day, she ain't looking too bad at the moment. Well, it's only 30%. Ice mark. You stuck up on me there, dog. But anyway, we're going to start our day. Come on along for the journey. <laughs> Big eared mutt. There's gonna be a lot of hay coming out of them fields. A lot of hay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when it when it gets to that point though. I love that tall, little bit of wildflower mixed in. Very peaceful. Well there little woman. Yes, there little man. <laughs> Made it to work safe and sound. Yeah. It's beautiful here in Vancouver like it was in Toledo. Yeah. 63 degrees. It's gonna be a wonderful day. It is. Rain's not supposed to come until later on, oh. so maybe it uh, We got a couple of sprinkles on the way, but that's yeah. alright. Didn't even have to hit the windshield wipers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, Mama, I'm gonna head on down, start my day. Alright. Love you, see you bye. You. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. This is a 2017 uh, R1200 GS rally and uh, I can tell by the old stance of this thing it's a true rally as in it has a sport suspension this puppy is up here so this gentleman uh, his uh, from time to time his cruise control is not functioning on him and he did have a uh, there was a code where, in fact, it shows that the cruise control was not plausible. So I went through the battery, you go through a measures plan, went through the battery of all the things they want you to test, and uh, it's not showing anything's wrong. Anything, speed sensors, um, dynamic traction control, any of that stuff that's active. Engine RPMs are too high, too low speed too high speed too low man a whole battery of things you're leaning on forward on the throttle you're touching one of the brake levers sight stand switches down which the bike wouldn't run if it was doing that anyway but so anyway go through all the tests there's literally nothing showing up let me get out here somewhere and uh and play with it and if we can get the cruise control to do something it's not supposed to and there's two switches in the clutch there's one that uh when you just touch the lever it kicks it off and then there's another that uh when you pull the clutch all the way in it kicks it off so either way it's gonna you know if <laughs> one didn't do it the next would yeah man literally it will She's speeding up, slowing down. And the other thing too, if you touch touch the shift lever like like I just did, it uh, obviously that that'll kick it off. Any kind of shift, um, r rolling forward on the throttle. See it set. I don't know if you guys can see that green light or not, but if I roll forward kicks it off if I barely touch the clutch lever it goes off obviously if I touch a brake touch a rear brake any of those things let's have a really cool um, R1250 GS that uh, the guy Kurt did all the work on it but just put all kinds of accessories on there and I just wonder, there's just no way you could ride this thing for 8,500 miles and then suddenly lose your mind and do something to make the cruise cut off by itself, you know? Them same old guys are always out here. The old Goldwing guy, I'm kind of thinking he might have taken off on a trip. Or because of the nice weather, which 
think there's like a 30 or 40 percent chance of rain today so maybe went on a trip it is an apartment complex maybe he moved on to uh, something else maybe he bought himself a house that would be fantastic it's nothing worse than a guy having an issue and the computer won't duplicate it the computer finds nothing wrong you take it for a ride and you find nothing wrong because the customer truly believes or truly is experiencing an issue and like i say 8500 miles down the road i doubt he's like rolling forward on the throttle or doing anything weird to the trigger it all of a sudden he'd have most likely been doing it all along come on little yellow ford come on out there you are them little boys dialing for dollars there on the side of the road 2017 rally 2019 hp this probably would have been called a rally i don't know why they doing it the name game change i don't know and yes this is another one with sport suspension these tall son of a guns boy oh listen to that acro back there very nice just did the uh running in service on it There was a uh, body panel that got a little scuff in it somehow. Put the new, put the new one on. What is that sitting out there? It's something like sitting on the corner there. Oh, it's a uh, side by side. I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on. But man, he has kitted this thing out. Bunch of tour attack and another brand stuff as you can see the GS doesn't come with the with the bodyguards but uh, he has them I mean very very tastefully done it's got guards around the uh, um, the diff and he's got some cool stuff some extra fender extension type stuff this rear fender for the rear wheel that's really cool I'll show you that Let's give this thing a quick little walkie walkie round. Yeah, buddy, that's tall. So he's got sergeant seat. He's got the the guard around the bottom of the the uh, bevel gear, like a frame slider type of thing on there. He's got the tour tech engine guards, the body guards. Got some nice, the super bright lights on there. The headlight guard really nicely done that's I don't know who makes a shield but that's not a stock shield and he's got the fender extension on the back and you get a better look at this over here this looks really cool check this out this add-on inner fender piece here if you can make that out really nice and then the uh, Akrapovich exhaust it's just a muffler, which is all you need on these things. You want to keep that power valve, the uh, exhaust flap that tunes it. It's all computer controlled and it goes from torque motor to to high end rever. Yeah, that thing's so good looking. The same color scheme as my GSA, just in a GS version. I think it's nice. Oh, and he's got the uh, the pad for the uh, side stand for sitting in those uh, soft, loomy areas. Even uh, like if you live in the south, the blacktop gets gets soft, and your side stand will sink into it. And uh, that can happen around here occasionally. So he's made it through his break-in period. He can uh, he can now go out and be less than gentle with it if he if he wishes. 
Yeah, I don't want to get on it. But I bet you she sounds sweet when you wrap her up. You gotta watch the cagers like a hawk. You just never know. Well, one of the first things you notice when you drive a 19 that those Hayes still uses Brembo in the back, but he uses a uh, Hayes um, calipers up front. Oh man, they just got the best feel to them. I mean, they are just like one finger. Yeah, that exhaust sounds so good. Nothing like the super pleasing sound that a motorcycle can make. Like two of the most pleasing sounds to me is me personally, Harleys and boxers, BMW boxers. Just that drone they have is just so pleasing. Guess I'll park him next to the rally here. See who comes and picks up first. Poor R9T that I got a, uh, a black screen uh, recording of, still sitting down here. Keep thinking I'm gonna put a camera on. I think they've got one upstairs, so they're not in a panic to get this one. But um, yeah, I'll throw a camera on, just ride it upstairs or something. <laughs> I've already took it for the test ride. Alright, I'm just going to tuck you right here out of the way so I can get whatever's next in next. Lovely motorcycle. Very nicely done, sir. So I just test rode a Yamaha Star Venture on the motovlog side. And the nav on that thing kept popping up. Warning, severe thunderstorm. Well, it looks like it looks like one coming right there. It's supposed to be a 60% chance of rain today, but I didn't look at the hourly to see when the 60% kicked in. But that's kind of looking angry out that way. Hold on, batting down the hatch. <laughs> Watch these crazy crows. him on the dumpster out there one's pecking at the styrofoam up there they'll let you get amazingly close one of these is really brave and actually comes in the building <laughs> well, we definitely ran into some rain. It poured. Look back that way. It's blacker than heck. Nowhere near as black as what we went through, though. I don't know if that's heading this way or what it's doing. But we're almost home. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. This is kind of... We're not really ready for the goodbye vlog. <laughs> we usually wait a little later, but... We got alerts on our phones and stuff. The rain's coming in about 10 minutes. Yep. And it's not going to stop for the next two or three hours. In fact, it's sprinkling now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Always. Kelly goes, an idiot out there. Sun's not out, so we can come out early. A lot of times the sun's so bright that, you know, that it's, it's impossible. Unless we turn our backs to it, and then we'd just be a silhouette. You know? Yeah, so. Lighting is no everything, I reckon. But it's like it's Sashi trying to play with Sparky. Them two always, always horsing around. Oh, hey, Mama. I think we should probably make it a quick goodbye. All right. It's, it's starting to click on my, on my, on my I know, noggin. I know. It's getting on my glasses. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Thursday is 
Thursday or Friday are wonderful. Heck yeah. Well, I hope it's not nasty rainy. The on and off rain, that's fine. You can sneak out and find little spots. You know? Yeah. When it wintertime rain, when it just hits and just doesn't stop for days, weeks, months. I know it. <laughs> anyway, we I guess go. we'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.